Anne Appleby is a colorist, but more than that, she is an observer of nature. I think I'm, I'll make them little rectangles. Something like that. Uh huh. Each square in this print is made up of four plates, inked in different colors and printed one on top of the other. I love that one. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tail and a horse tail is um, a planet. It, it's prehistoric looking. It, it, it has sections. It has little black rings, and then it has sections in the um, the, the the old ones. The center of those are hollow, and they also have they look have like an asparagus type flower head on them, uh -huh. which is very very colorful. Which is where I got the colors for that. Almost before, but almost just doing white, white. So we do this plus. It looks like a um, synthetic color. Yeah. That's why we're going to put a little bit of red in there and knock it back okay. to gray it out. More blue still, or go to the red? Let's put a little red in and see what happens. You know, I could be totally wrong too. I don't think I am. So we want to put more red in there. More blue in there. Now we're getting there, kind of. <laughs> so Catherine, how big is this addition going to be? And see the color that's this, in this little wedge right here? Right there. That's so perfect for yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. So now we have it. You know, I think a lot of people, you know, they call this work you know, reductive or minimal or whatever, and they don't consider the fact that there is there is a certain amount of drawing going on here. And I'm making the second now, but once I have the second one where I've actually burnished, then I can look at what's before me and then draw from what I'm seeing there. The uh -huh. subtlety of the the. Um, the top color that kind of hovers over the, the other ones. The edge here is so much nicer than over here because here it just seems like it's not as subtle. It's a little bit oh, too I see. harsh. Uh, I see. And um, the other thing we did was we changed the color of this so that there is more green in it here. Mm -hmm. And then changed this edge so that it, was, it wasn't so clunky. These prints are aquatints, a form of etching, and the printer is the artist's technical assistant in making them. Yeah, it's nice. yes. it goes there. Yeah. yeah, it's real nice here. here. It's just, uh, yeah. yeah, but isn't this a beautiful color? The whole group is just about finished, and they're all based on, you said, something called the riparian. I, where I live in Montana, I have a stream that runs through my property and it 
I am very familiar with the riparian zone, which acts as a buffer between a watershed and a forest or another expanse of land. And oftentimes it is cleansing. It'll it make sure the water is clean before it moves on to the next source. So these plants, in my mind, kind of function as the kidneys of the, of the earth, or of the planet, because they're, they're constantly cleaning, making sure the water's pure.